Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at a keyboard from MSI. This is the Vigor GK30. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a keyboard from MSI. This is the Vigor GK30 gaming keyboard, and you can tell it's a gaming keyboard because it's got RGB. Obviously, anything with RGB is gaming orientated, or at least you'd think so, the way marketing is at the moment. Anyway, I'm digressing. So this is your kind of like your low level or budget or entry level keyboard from MSI. This is using a mechanical membrane switch, if that is even a thing. I know those two don't really go together, but essentially it has a switch-like feel, but using a membrane and a kind of plunger rather than a mechanical physical switch. Essentially, it means the price can be a lot lower. So at the moment in the UK, you can pick these up on their own, around about 40 pounds. They do actually do another kit of this, which is like a combo kit, which comes with the clutch GM11 mouse, which is about another 15 pounds on top. So if you want a mouse as well, then maybe that's an option for you. Now, one of the killer features of this particular keyboard, which if you're not kind of thinking, oh God, here we go, not again, but this is actually the killer feature. Now for a lot of motherboards, and mice for that matter, trying to get them to synchronize to the rest of your RGB setup on your system is a real pain. So you, maybe you've got your Corsair keyboard and you've got an Antec case or whatever it is, you've got a mismatch of components, nothing really seems to work together, it all just looks a mess. So you end up putting onto a rainbow puke just to kind of make it blend a little bit. This is where the MSI board is a little bit different, especially at this price point. This supports the Mystic Sync and also the Dragon Center. So if you've already got an MSI motherboard, fantastic. This will work with it and you can synchronize the colors and the options and all those kinds of things. Um, if you don't have an MSI motherboard already, but you've got some other RGB, then you can probably tailor it with the Dragon software to try to work with what you've got. So maybe you want an all white setup or an all red setup or whatever it may be you've got some flexibility in the software. And also, if you've got another gaming device from MSI, such as one of the headsets or one of the mice, then as long as they display the RGB logo like this and support the Dragon Center software, then you can synchronize them all together. Now, MSI have actually sent me this particular keyboard. They've also sent a headset and a mouse, which I'll be reviewing separately, but then I will be doing a review at the very end after we've seen all three to combine all three, just so you can get an idea of what the RGB looks like when they're all together. So I think that's gonna be pretty fun. Now, like looks said, you don't necessarily need an MSI motherboard or setup in order to enjoy this feature, but if you do have an MSI motherboard with all these features on that supports Mystic Sync, you can get Mystic Sync to work with the Dragon Center to combine everything together to give you one cohesive experience. So that's out of the way. Let's take a look at the box and see what is going on. So as you can see on the front, you've got the nice layout of the keyboard, you've got the MSI logo emblazoned on the front. Pretty nice packaging, and if you're buying this for a gift for someone, I think they'd be pretty impressed. Moving around to the back, we go on to some of the specifications. So you've got uh, bringing out your stylish nature, it talks about the RGB lighting, etc. Uh, setting up lighting effects is really simple. Like I said, you can do it in the Dragon software. Or alternately, you can use the hardware keys and just tap on the keys to go through cycling colors, brightness, all those kinds of things. Or if you're a complete killjoy, you can turn the lights off altogether. But then if you're gonna do that, why buy one of these keyboards? Anyway, let's move on. Uh, easy to clean floating keyboard. Now, because it is a membrane keyboard, essentially it's relatively waterproof straight away because how a membrane works it is a physical barrier between the electronics underneath. So that's a good thing. So you can spill your favorite drinks on here and not have to worry too much and not have to panic about unplugging the keyboard before it goes uh, blue smoke on you. Anyway, next part. So underneath we've got rubber feet, which keeps things all nice and stable. So if you're a slightly more aggressive gamer and you're used to slamming your keyboard around, the rubber grips on the bottom are gonna keep things nice and firmly attached to your desk. It also goes on to mention about the joyful typing experience using a plunger type device or switch. Uh, yeah, that's probably overstating it somewhat, but actually I have used this already a little bit and it does actually feel quite switch-like. And in comparison with other sort of mechanical keyboards that I've used in the past, this one actually steps up a little bit. And also it goes on to say about the Dragon Center supported. So like we said before, Dragon Center, RGB controls, all those kinds of things, and also you can allow it to coordinate with other supported Dragon Center devices. So that is pretty much it from the box. Let's take a look at the keyboard itself. Now this one is actually the UK layout. Uh, I'm in the UK but you can also get this in various other uh, languages and layouts so we'll put some links in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. 
So there is the keyboard itself, and actually it's got quite a decent weight to it. I wouldn't say it's necessarily heavy, but there's definitely a little bit of uh, girth to it. And there's minimal flex. It's quite a, a strong keyboard. I don't think there's a metal back into it at all, but it just does feel pretty well built and pretty substantial. And as you can see, we've got nice key layout. This is the full size key layout. And the keys, the actual fonts on them, in my mind, it isn't actually too bad. Some fonts can be really quite jarring and difficult to use, especially under RGB lighting conditions. But this actually seems relatively easy on the eye, uh, works really well, no complaints there whatsoever. All the keys themselves, unfortunately, are not individually lit, so we've got sectional lighting, uh, which actually I do prefer because it kind of diffuses the light. So if you imagine having a light in your kitchen and you've got like a diffuser over it to sort of let the light go evenly across the area, that is what this is doing. So rather than having hot spots of light, you've got a nice flow of light in. But we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Also on this keyboard, you've got another lighting section on this side, which just adds a little bit more glamour to it. So not only have you got all of the keys illuminated and backlit, you've also got another section here, which gives you just a little bit more glow. Uh, also, that will help illuminate this number pad section. Also at the top, you've got illuminated buttons or lights for your number lock, caps lock, scroll lock, all that kind of thing. On the back of the keyboard, you've got an MSI logo and your part numbers, etc. With these nice big rubberized grips on the bottom, and also you've got flip out feet, which add a little bit of height. Not a great deal, actually. That's probably one of my slight concerns. If you're somebody who likes a slightly higher angle on the keyboard, uh, this only raises it probably about seven or eight millimeters, so not a great amount of depth there. But anyway, let's plug it in and give you a look and see what it looks like. So there we go, we've got the keyboard illuminated and plugged in. I've actually got it plugged into the PC behind me, so um, no problems there. You can, like I said, if you want to, you can install the Dragon software, which you can get from MSI's website. I'll put a link for that in the description as well, so you can check it out. Uh, but it's not entirely necessary, so if you don't like all that kind of extra bloat on your system, you can forego it. Now, the default layout when you first plug it in is the, uh, the typical kind of RGB flow, or unicorn puke, as it's become uh, frequently known. So, looks really nice. In my opinion, I actually really like this kind of look. Previously, I had the Cooler Master set, uh, the Master Keys Lite, which was actually a very similar setup to this. It wasn't quite as polished as an experience, but actually was quite a nice keyboard and a, a reasonable typing experience. This is taking things up a slight level. Obviously, it's come on a couple of years, and this has improved much, much better. Now, if we take off one of the caps off the key, so you've got reasonably good quality switches there, and they do look like they're double shot. So yeah, double shot switches, uh, yeah, quite nice, and quite nice stems on them. You can see the actual plunger itself there, so you've got a clear plunger, and there's a, when you press it down, there's quite a reassuring bump at the bottom, but it's also a little bit of a spring as well, which you get because obviously it is a membrane, so as you get to the bottom of the membrane, you get that kind of flex to make it pop back up, which I actually don't mind. I actually quite like using a membrane keyboard, or a kind of mem mechanical keyboard as they're called. What I do find with this particular one, is the actual key stems or the actual keys themselves. There's very, very little wiggle to them. So they're very, uh, kind of very linear feeling. They're very, very defined in their action. So it's quite straight. They don't wobble around. For me, that is really great, especially typing. When I'm making YouTube videos and doing titles and all that kind of stuff, it's really nice. Actually answering questions, YouTube questions, answering those on a bad keyboard can be an absolute nightmare. But I've done quite a few with this one. And actually, yeah, it is actually really, really nice to type on. Definitely recommended if you're doing considerable amounts of typing and you don't have the money to splash out for a kind of legitimate uh, gaming keyboard or mechanical keyboard, which can cost pretty much double what this costs. So moving on to some of the lighting. So the lighting can be done. There's the MSI Dragon key there. So you just press that and you can press the uh, INS key, which changes your LEDs. So you can cycle through various LED patterns different flows, etc. So various responses to the keys, all that kind of stuff. Again, you can take a look at this in the software. You've got a lot more control, or to me, it seems easier to control in the software rather than remembering the keystrokes, which again was one of the downsides of the kind of the Cooler Master version of this, which was a kind of similar sort of setup, but it was all down to keystrokes and I'd be forever having to go upstairs, find the box for it, look on the instructions, how to change the colors or how to change something. It was a real pain. So the Dragon Center is gonna be your absolute blessing when it comes to this. And I can't believe they've actually managed to do it at such a price. To have a software controlled RGB keyboard with a kind of mechanical feel for 40 pounds, 
is actually really good. Now, don't get me wrong, you can go out and buy a uh, kind of a Chinese knockoff mechanical keyboard on Amazon and places like that for around about the same sort of money. But will you get software control on it? Will it uh, coordinate with the rest of your devices? Very, very unlikely. So if you into your coordination, you want your systems to look really good, I think this thing is gonna be well worth a look. Now, on the kind of more uh, technical side of it, it's got six key rollover and 20 key anti-ghost in. So not brilliant, but certainly gets the job done. I have played some CSGO on this and it's been absolutely flawless, no problems whatsoever. So if gaming is your thing, RGB is your thing, and saving money is your thing, you could do a lot worse than this particular model. So there you go, that pretty much wraps up the Vigor GK30 from MSI. I'm pretty impressed with it and, and I think it ticks a really good box in the PC market. Software controlled RGB that works with other devices and allows you to synchronize everything together, but for less than the cost of kind of donating a kidney. So for me, definitely a thumbs up. So this has been the GK30 from MSI. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.